not something about dry blood too, like the, 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 the uh, You said dry blood? Dry blood, yeah. Yeah, I'm not aware of that one. Okay. Are you sure you're not dry blood? <laughs> no, not, not human dry blood. I think it's animal dry blood. You get oh, it no. oh, what kind of rituals so are you practicing, Chuck? No, I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, people would tell me these things yeah. for keep away animals. Yeah. The smell. The smell. They don't like the smell. Yeah. That is mulch, and we just meant for it to be straight mulch to keep the moisture in in the dry air. But I think the smell of another animal maybe has been keeping pests away. Because at the garden site, we usually we have a lot of deer eating things, and we haven't had anything this year. So you never know what you'll find that will work. Pest control. Is that for all kinds of different things? Mm-hmm. Hot pepper? And you choose the hot pepper? What do you do with the hot pepper? You split it around your crops and then you keep the way the ants. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, I think well, there's actually a recipe for that in the packet. Oh, okay. the hot pepper yet. This one doesn't have anything about deer in here that I can see. Because <laughs> that is a good one. packet, actually. Yeah, birds is true. I heard spring so. Well, so. Okay. Yeah, 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 I heard spring so. The smell is supposed to repel deer. You said you found deer in the packet? Deer. Okay, deer is 154 in here. Okay, here's a good thing right here. Start by planting plants that deer don't like. Remember that in times of extreme hunger, deer will eat just about anything. But the following plants won't be their first choice. So these are plants that deer do not like. Aloe, Estill, bee balm, blanket flower, weeding heart, candy tuft, catnip, columbine, daffodil, dahlia, dead nettle, floss flower, forget me not, fox glove, gloriosa daisy, hyacinth, iris, lamb's ears, lupine, oriental poppy, pincushion flower, purple cone flower, red hot poker, verbena, and yarrow. And then for dogs, common root planted in and around your garden will deter dogs. It is said that planting a root plant next to tomato plants will also keep dogs from eating the ripe tomatoes. An added bonus is that many insect pests do not like root either. And then for dogs, try planting calendulas. Dogs don't like it and won't dig in it. Uh, and there's more for raccoons, rodents, skunks, rabbits, groundhogs, gophers. Uh, rodents, many burrowing rodents will not dig through a barrier of gravel. I had this uh, magazine, it was I think Better Home and Gardens, and it showed you that if you're going to plant bulbs, there is some, um, I can't remember if it was chicken wire that you would put around it in the ground so that way the rodents won't eat the bulbs. And then bone meal, you plant in with the dirt too. So again, dead daisies make me crazy. Get your copy, see if your local library has it. This is just a wonderful resource for garden solutions without chemical pollution. And thank you for today's workshop. Stay tuned for future workshops. Enjoy the homemade bread and enjoy your summer. And be safe. And don't use chemicals. share with everyone.